There it is, the entrance to the Niles. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and we are starting off the day here in the Niles Community Park and it is absolutely beautiful here. But in a minute, I'll be taking you to one of the coolest neighborhoods here in Fremont, which is also known as the Niles. But first, let's do a little bit of hike walking in the spacious park that runs along the Alameda Creek. It is a nice little trail for locals to get in a quick run or walk. Despite the fact that we are in a severe drought right now, it's nice to see that the Alameda Creek is still flowing. So, here is a really cool fact about the Niles. Before there was even Hollywood, there was the Niles. This area was made famous for filming because of an individual called Charlie Chaplin. Sir Charles Spencer Chaplin Jr. was born in London, United Kingdom in 1889. He rose to fame through the era of silent film for his screen persona, The Tramp. His career spanned more than 75 years, and even to this day, his legendary presence in the film industry is still recognized with the latest Showtime documentary film, The Real Charlie Chaplin, that aired in 2021, and in the newest Hollywood film to be released in December of 2022, Babylon by Damon Chazelle. Mr. Chaplin will be played by the one and only Toby Maguire. As you walk through the four blocks that make up the Niles neighborhood, you will find that Charlie Chaplin is the unofficial mascot of the area. I swear you guys, it felt like I was bumping into him in every corner and every shop window. Charlie is just everywhere. Today, the quaint neighborhood is full of small businesses, cute antique shops, and the Niles Depot Museum, the former location of the Southern Pacific Railroad Colonnade, which marks the beginnings of the neighborhood. So this is very cool, you guys. A vintage railroad cart you can't go inside but i believe you can just climb up here maybe pretend to be the driver yeah maybe oh oh wow it's heavy <laughs> but yeah this is pretty cool look guys i spy another one After exploring a bit, our stomachs started growling, signaling to us that it was time to eat. So we stopped by at Bronco Billy's Pizza Palace to see what kind of pizza they had to offer. So here's the menu, and I will be getting the tumbleweed. I just like artichokes. Okay, these slices are way bigger than I thought it was going to be. So here is the cheese pizza. Oh, looks amazing. Mm, really and then too. here is the tumbleweed, olives, artichokes, onion, feta cheese. Oh yeah. Well, you can't see me, but okay. <laughs> I guess it's it's the pizza that counts. Oh. Oh my god, it smells so good. I'm so excited. Wow, they, they really cut it into tiny little slices. Mm -hmm. Like, you just go ham with the knife. But. Mmm. Mm. So good. Oh my god. Oh my god, guys. It is so good. Mm -hmm. Wow. The 
This is so worth, what, both of these pizzas with tip and tax, $19, so $8.50 each. Did I even do the math right? Mm, some 19 divided something. by two, yeah. No, $9.50 each, wow. But yeah, this is so good, I cannot believe it. Wow. Oh my god. This is one of the best pizzas I had, ever had in my life. Oh wow. Yeah, this is amazing. Highly recommend at least the ones that we're trying. So it's the cheese pizza and the tumbleweed. I am truly, truly happy. <laughs> And of course, we couldn't help ourselves, ice cream for dessert. So what we got was coffee, this is espresso. And then I also got the lavender honey. And we got unicorn vanilla, but it's underneath the coffee, so we can't see it. But it's pink and it's pretty. And I, I'm guessing it tastes like vanilla. But I'm going to try the, uh, the espresso beans. Maddie did say that it has a gritty texture because of the beans, but this is what it looks like. There it is. There you go. I don't remember last time I actually wore real beans. It tastes good, but um, I'm not a fan of the grittiness, to yeah. be honest. It's really, really weird. But I'm very excited for the lavender honey. It's so pretty with the light purple. It's already a little bit... Please focus on the ice cream. Can you press on the um, screen? Or the... Yeah. Press on again. There we go. Ooh. Mm. I don't expect lavender to taste like this. You can definitely taste the honey. Mm. Mm. Yeah. yeah. This is good. Oh, yeah. Mm. It's refreshing. It's sweet. It's pretty. I don't really taste floral. Do you like flowers? Not bad, first time trying lavender. Maddie ate all the coffee and this is what the unicorn ice cream looks like. So that is my afternoon exploring the Niles neighborhood and there is so much more about this historic place than what I showed, like the silent film industry and how it got started as well as the neighborhood's depot station. Unfortunately, both museums were closed due to COVID regulations at the time of my visit, so I guess I'm just going to have to come back and do a more in-depth visit which I am looking forward to, by the way. Besides, there's this coffee shop I really want to try and a few antique shops that I want to explore and maybe buy something in. Who knows? I'm cheap, so maybe not. But until next time then, happy wandering and remember to always wander with awe.